Hello, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play you a collar maker from Ukraine. The Kolomeka is one of the most common Ukrainian dance tunes and there are several thousand of these tunes. Um, they're usually fast, often in minor keys, as is this one. This is in the key of G minor. Quite often the Kolomeka is also a part of the local Jewish repertoire, as is the case with this one. And the best known recording of this tune is from the repertoire of the Bukovina fiddler Leon Schwartz. He's got a great album, Like in a Different World which has got loads of really old uh, Ukrainian and klezma tunes. Um, this is a particular um, favourite among klezma musicians at the time because unlike a lot of the standard dance tunes, this one was paid for as an extra by the guests rather than being paid for by the bride and groom. Uh, so, it's um, a moderately easy tune. I'm going to go through it slowly and then we'll go through it a bit faster with some ornamentation. So, it's got three parts. One, two, three, four... Okay, so the tricky bit here is those two bars near the end. So we're going from a C-sharp, up and down, Do that a couple of times, just those two bars, one, two, three, four. Okay, let's try the whole section, one, two, three, four. Now this doesn't repeat, although I would say if you wanted to repeat it, it certainly would uh, sound fine doing that. We then go uh, to a C minor chord. So we're going up from an A to a B flat to a C. And then it's B natural for the next uh, few bars. So the first finger is coming up. And I think it's important to do to slur this in pairs. Down, up. Um, an E natural, here, C sharp, and then um, so let's go through that again. One, two, three, four. Final section. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's try all of that through at a steady tempo and with the backing and then we'll look at speeding it up and adding some ornamentation.
you probably could play to that speed if you wanted, although it wouldn't be at all in the spirit of the original dance. So if you were playing this for dancing or um, you wanted it to sound like the original, then you would certainly want to speed it up quite a lot. And there's quite a lot of opportunity for what's called a vibrato trill. And I do have a video all about this. Basically the vibrato trill is when you play a note um, and you place the, the next finger up right on that finger. So it's resting on the finger and then you just uh, vibrate it up and down gently so that it just touches the string but doesn't give you a, a clear note. So you don't want to hear like that, like a proper trill, you want so you're just going, touching the string and coming off again. And you can really place that wherever you want. I've written in the ones which um, roughly coincide with what Leon Schwartz did on his recording. But we've got, uh, in the first part, we've got... Um, so a really fast one there. So there, really, we've only got time for, for one on and off. Um, there are some places where you have a little bit more time, for example in line 3. Um, so there you've got more chance to, to stick that in. And um, in the third part, we don't have another one written down, but what we do have is a crest on the second bar of the third section. So I've got a video about this as well. It's basically a flick of the fourth finger. Um, not next to the note, but up where the fourth finger normally is. So, um, and it just comes right at the end of the note, and it just, again, just touches the string, stops the note, but doesn't actually make a clear sound. And uh, we've also got a few things like that at the beginning of that line. There's quite a few places where you could do open string drones. So if you're playing a G note on the D string, then a G open string drone below it would be good. Somewhere like that, you can play an E, you can play an A drone above the notes on the D string. And <coughs> a note like that, you can proceed with a flick of the uh, preceding notes or a lower note. And to end, you can either do a double stop or a proper klezmer ending would be uh, something like that. Usually a descending arpeggio is what happens in there. So let's play that at a um, moderate tempo and then we'll do it with the backing. One, two, three, four. enjoyed this if you would like a copy of the sheet music then do subscribe to the channel and send me an email if you would like to receive uh, by email every PDF as it comes out three times a week then do uh, subscribe to my patreon page uh, which you can do at three different levels there's lots of other goodies there as well I will play you out with this at full speed and uh, with all of the ornaments see you again soon